hello everyone in this video we are going to create a chair in solidworks so let's start from an arc so draw an arc and add relation its point and the origin is vertical now click on smart dimension and define the radius of the arc now select the center point of the arc and the origin and add relation vertical between them and again draw an arc add relation equal now click on smart dimensions and define the height of the arc from the origin is 50 mm Now again click on smart dimension and define the height of the upper arc from the origin is 100 mm. Now adding relation in the end point is vertical, select first point and second point. Now again click on first point and second point and define its width is 460 mm again draw an arc from the end point having radius 25 mm click on smart dimension and define its radius So now we are going to extrude both this sketch from the mid plane. So click on extrude both and select mid plane. And define its width is 460 mm. Now again choose front plane and keep it vertical position. And now again I am going to draw a sketch with the help of arc command so draw an arc and add relation constant with the extrude base feature now define the radius of the arc you can move or rotate the arc from its center point now I am going to define its height of 550 mm now again click on arc command and draw in our arc and adding relation equal between them now defining its width is 50 mm and again draw an arc having radius of 25 mm at the both ends so let's define an invalid symmetry because it's overwriting the dimensions now I'm going to define its radius again First of all define its width of 50 mm and radius of 25 mm. Now again extrude both this sketch from the mid plane. Is now entering its value. Is 550 mm from the mid plane. So 
so now again i'm going to choose top plane and keep it in a normal position and select circle and draw a circle from the origin define diameter of 150 mm and extrude it both define the direction of the extrude boss and define its length of 130 mm and click on direction 2 and select up to next so again click on the face and keep it normal position and draw again an arc Define the radius of the circle is 75 mm and extrude it both. Again 280 mm and again draw in a circle. Now click on line command and define the width is 40 mm and the length. Click on smart dimensions select first point and second line and defining its total length is 300 mm and keep the line coincident with the origin now extrude it both in the upper direction up to 30 mm now again choose the face and keep a normal position and again draw a circle Now define its length from the origin this is 290 mm and having diameter of 15 mm now extrude it both this is 20 mm again now on its wireframe view and select a point now I am going to create a plane. So click on reference geometry and select plane with the reference of selected point. Click on point and select the edge. A new plane is created here. So keep the plane in normal position and start a sketch on the plane. So draw a circle and keep it vertical position and define its height from the base is 40 mm and diameter of 50 mm now extrude it both again from the mid plane in the both directions is 40 mm now click on the plane and hide it so now i'm going to it pattern it circular pattern so select the feature which you want to pattern and define its direction so click on center point and having circular pattern of 6 item now again click on the body and draw a circle from its origin define its radius of 25 mm and extrude it both up to 20 mm now draw a line and add relation tangent with the extrude both feature and draw an arc and a line and again draw an arc so basically i'm going to create a arm of the chair with the help of arc command and line command so met all the point and click on smart dimension so i am first of all defining its angle 
so select first line and second line and entering the value so 82.95 degree and 90 degree now again select first line and second line i'm going to define it the arc radius is 40 mm again select its radius is 40 mm and now adding relation between the line and the arc is tangent select arc and line and add relation tangent between them now the sketch is fully defined again click on smart dimension and define the width of the line is 362.51 mm and its height is 235.67 mm size is 221.00 so now again draw a sketch in the internal side so draw a same sketch in the inner side of the sketch with carrying line command and R command now defining its radius value is 40 mm all the radius in this sketch are having radius of 40 mm now adding its width select first point and second point and add relation parallel between them now adding relation tangent between the line and the arc Now define its width is 40 mm. Now removing the relation tangent between the line and the extrude face feature and drag it again and define its length from the origin. This is 25 mm. Now click on feature and extrude it base. Having width of 50 mm. And click on OK. So now choose its center plane. This front plane and mirror the body. click on ok now I am going to apply fillet so select the edges on which you want to apply fillet of 10 mm so select all the edges
you have, you have to select only the edge not the face now I am applying fillet on the wheel of radius 10 mm now click on ok now again select the fillet command and select the face and having value of 10 mm now select the base side of the chair and select its edges and applying fillet of 10 mm now select its back side select edges now select all the outer and the inner edges of the arm and applying fillet on them of 10 mm so same in the second arm select its edges one by one and now click on ok now I am going to add appearance on the chair so you can choose any color which you want to apply select the faces and select the color I am choosing black color for its arm so select all the faces on which you want to apply the color you can also directly select the body from the feature on which you want to apply the color So rotate the body and select all the edges now changing the color of the wheel now click on ok we can also copy or paste the appearance so this is finally our chair with having different color appearance you can change its appearance so click on copy and select the faces and paste the appearance <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,